Hello again, everyone. Todd Struch, the horror nerd here, coming to you from Scares That Care Charity Weekend 6 in Williamsburg, Virginia. I have the honor of sitting here next to Mr. Clayton Rohner, star of April Fool's Day, just one of the guys, and so many other iconic horror films. Clayton, how are you? I'm doing very well there, yeah. Good. Uh, is this your first Scares That Care convention? Absolutely, yes. But I think this is great that uh, most of these conventions aren't goodwill oriented. They're more cash oriented. It's nice to be at one where, you know, they're... There's a there's a better end purpose to it. I agree. My uh, my good friend Manny, who's running camera for me, and I, we were talking about that earlier about how conventions have, have really become big business, and it, this one is great because it bucks that mold. Star Trek being the one that's just complete, completely gone monetary, and it's uh, which kind of takes a little of the fun out of it. Because I think you know, as much as we obviously like to make money, it's. It's about what we do and and uh, interacting with the um, you know with our fans and and that part of it. Actually, the money aspect is really the the least you know. It's just like it's great here that we have somebody taking the money because I hate that part. I would rather just come and do this and not have to ever deal with exchanging you know greenbacks. I hear you. You know, just as fans and and someone who has seen how the convention business has changed. I, I personally, I don't begrudge anybody the right to make a dollar. You know, it's your likeness, it's your signature. You may as well make a couple of bucks off of it, you know? <laughs> yeah, we get to, I like the talking to everybody and finding out about them. And you hear the most amazing stories, you know? People have great stories. That's, that's cool. I appreciate, I appreciate that as a fan. Um, so speaking of stories, um, you're in a very iconic horror film, April Fool's Day. How did you get into horror? Was that a genre you were interested in? Or was that, hey, I got cast in this role and away we go? That's a really good question. I'm not sure how I got into it. I'm trying to think of what the first one I did was. I think it was April Fool's Day. Uh, and then from there, I just kind of kept going uh, with, like you said, I Madman, another one called Destroyer. Relic I did much later on. I had kind of a string of Nightwish was another one. Um, just kind of, I don't know, I, I, I like maybe the, the way my type of acting uh, works better with horror films or something. I kind of like the the scare aspect of it. I like having a big monster after me or something like that happening because it, I don't know, it just makes it easier to act. It's not so nuanced, you know? I mean, it's, it, you know, when you're being chased by a, you know, a 6,000 pound lizard, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it, 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 it trumps any other emotions you're going to be having. I guess so. I can't say I relate, <laughs> you know, but I can imagine. So yeah, that, that, that's been very fun, so. Very cool. Now, you mentioned this film, I, Madman. Uh, yes. And uh, I personally, uh, it's a personal favorite of mine. And I, th I think it's like a sort of like a lost gem, you know? And thank God for home video that people get to see it. Um, just tell us a little bit about your experience on that film. Is that the one that um, Tibor Takis drew? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I know the film. I'm trying to remember who the director was. By the way, well, I love the, he did The Gate, right? Yes. I, which was, I thought, I thought it was a great movie. He is just a champion among champions. And uh, it was really fun to do. And um, uh, the, I, the special effects guy was great. And I think his first name was Robert, but I can't remember uh, exactly. But um, yeah, it was it was great. And Jenny Wright from um, Near Dark. I, I you know I was always a huge fan of hers. I thought she was a very sexy girl, and it's great to be her boyfriend in it. And I played a cop. I played a lot of cops. He was a detective, I think. So. Yeah. Very cool. You have so many things you've been involved in, um, Angel. Um, you know, we, we have a running joke that every, it seems that everyone here has a photo from the episode of Star Trek that they were in. I think anyone who's been in this business for, you know, 40 years has been on some Star Trek, uh, uh, you know, incantation. Yeah. Do you have a personal favorite of all the roles that you've played? Well, I'm very proud of something that I did recently called Mope, but nobody knows about it yet, but they will. Uh, I really was excited to do G versus E. 
good versus evil. That was just an, an extraordinary experience. Um, obviously, just one of the guys to be my first feature was just a just stroke of luck that I got to be in a movie that so many fans found, uh, you know, really, that really affected them. And, and it's not all your movies affect people like uh, just one of the guys did. Uh, April Fool's Day was really fun to do. Modern Girls, obviously, mm. spending, you know, uh, two months in a trailer with three cute girls was really... Sounds awful. Awful. Uh, Star Trek was great. I got to fly the Enterprise. You don't get to, I got to tell Picard what to do because I, I outranked him, you know. That was a real, a real joy. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot. X Files is really dear to my heart. That character, the Rain King, I, I uh, and to work with Kim Manners was real a real treat. Fantastic. So now you just mentioned a project that you just worked on. Is there anything else you can are allowed to say about it? And you know, and what else do you have working on? We just kicked off uh, the opening Sunday night midnight show at Sundance. It is. I, I just. <laughs> It's funny, I'm talking about a movie that in a year from now, everyone will know what I'm talking about, but you don't know. It's a very small, small film. It's made for very little money. It's about the uh, porn industry. Uh, it's what a moat, by definition, is a sort of an extra in the, in the porn industry. And it's a very sad story, very beautiful sad story about two guys uh, going after their dream in the porn industry, and it ends very tragically. And it's a true story. And, and oh, I'm giving away the ending a little bit, but, well, I won't do that. It's, uh, it sounds interesting. Very, I, I, when I was watching the screening, and I don't have the biggest part in it. I play the father of the lead kid, but I have some stuff that I'm really proud of. But I was watching that movie, and on one side of me, people were crying, and on the other side, they were laughing. It doesn't happen often in a movie. I, I've never been... Uh, moved like I have in this in this movie, and I'm really super proud of it. Uh, it's it's dark. This is the crowd for that movie, but it's a really it's almost a horror movie in 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 its own in its own way. Excellent. So it's called the Mope. You said it's called Mope. Mope. Okay. Well, I'll look. Definition of an, a porn extra, basically. I will keep an eye out for it. It sounds interesting. I'd like oh, to check yeah. it out. It's like no other film. I just don't know what the rating is going to be because it because the backdrop is the porn industry. But it's not really. Uh, it doesn't have gratuitous sex in it at all. It's not about that. But it's uh, it's something. All right. Well, we will keep an eye out for it. Thank you so much, Clayton, for giving me a few minutes of your time. I truly appreciate it. I wish you much success in everything you do. And have a great rest of the weekend here. I hope to see you at Chiller maybe again. I've been once, but maybe I'll be back. I hope to. Ha I hope they have you back. And I'm always there, so I will definitely see you there. Great. Clayton Rohner, everybody, from April Fool's Day here at Scares That Care Charity Weekend 6 in Williamsburg, Virginia. And we will see all of you in the next interview.